Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging factorial equation problem. It is x plus 10 over x minus 5 factorial plus x plus 5 over x minus 7 factorial equal to 64 over x minus 6 factorial. Given x greater than 6 and integer. So let's get started by writing recursive formula from factorials where we can write n factorial as n times n minus 1 factorial or we can write n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. So I will apply this formula to our equation. So I will be writing x plus 10 divided by now x minus 5 factorial I will use this formula so I will be writing x minus 5 minus 1 so x minus 6 again decrement by 1 so I can write x minus 7 factorial. Next term I will write x plus 5 divided by x minus 7 factorial equal to 64 over x minus 6 x minus 7 factorial. Now x is greater than 6 so x minus 7 factorial cannot be 0. This cannot be 0 so I can cancel all the three denominators with x minus 7 factorial. Now this equation will become x plus 10 over x minus 5 times x minus 6 plus x plus 5 equal to 64 over x minus 6. Now I will multiply both sides with x minus 5 x minus 6. So let's multiply here x minus 5 times x minus 6. Here also x minus 5 times x minus 6. So I can cancel few terms from numerator denominator. Let me multiply x plus 10 divided by x minus 5 x minus 6 both will be cancelled out. So it will be only x plus 10 in the numerator plus here I will be writing x plus 5, x minus 5 and x minus 6. Right hand side you will cancel x minus 6 from numerator denominator. So it is left with 64 times x minus 5. Now we have to multiply these three brackets. So let me multiply here. I will be writing So I will write x plus 10 plus x plus 5 x minus 5. So let us use difference of two squares formula. I will be writing x square minus 5 square. Then it is x minus 6 and right hand side is 64 times x minus 5. Let's multiply x plus 10. Now I will be writing here x square minus 25 which we will multiply with x minus 6. Right hand side is 64x minus 320. Now x plus 10 plus x cube minus 6x square minus 25x plus 150 minus 64x plus 320 equal to 0. Now, so we can write equation x cube minus 6x square minus 88x and then plus 480 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation which I will solve using 
factorization method. So I will split this minus 6x square in minus 10x square plus 4x square. Let me write here x cube minus 10x square plus 4x square. Then minus 88x as it is plus 480. Right hand side is 0. Now I will be taking x square common from here. So it will be x minus 10 in the bracket. Now from last three terms, we can take 4 common. So I will write 4 common. In bracket it would be x square minus 22x plus 120 equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation you can see 120 can be factorized as 12 times 10. Addition is our middle term. So I will write straight away factors using factorization x minus 10 plus 4 then I can write factors x minus 10 in one bracket in other bracket it is x minus 12 and right hand side is 0. Now x minus 10 is overall common so I can write overall factorization will be x minus 10 x square plus 4 times x minus 12. So plus 4x minus 4 times 12 so minus 48 this will be equal to 0. Now straight away I will put both the brackets 0. So I can write here x minus 10 will be 0. Then our first solution which is 10 we will get. Now let us write the second equation which was quadratic. It will be x square plus 4x minus 48 equal to 0. Now I will apply quadratic formula. Let's apply. So I can write x is equal to minus b. So minus 4 plus minus under the root b square. So 4 is square minus 4 times 1 times negative 48. And denominator will be twice of 1 that means 2. So I can write minus 4 plus minus under the root 16 plus 4 times 48 192 divided by 2 minus 4 plus minus is square root 208 divided by 2 which further I can write minus 4 times plus minus here I can write 16 times 13 so it will become 4 root 13 divided by 2 so ultimately I am getting minus 2 plus minus 2 root 13 root 13 is irrational number so we will reject this solution as we are looking for integer values so we will reject this so our accepted solution is x is equal to 10 so I will be writing x is equal to 10. Let's verify this solution whether it is true in the equation or not. So I will write here check x equal to 10 LHS. So I will write 10 plus 10 over 10 minus 5 factorial plus 10 plus 5 over 10 minus 7 factorial so 20 over 5 factorial plus 15 over 3 factorial now we know that 5 factorial is 120 so 20 over 120 plus 15 over 3 factorial is 6. So I will cancel 20 and 120 by writing 6. So it is converting into 1 by 6 plus 15 by 6. So 16 by 6 or 
8 by 3. This is our LHS. Now let's check RHS also. So I will be writing here RHS and this value will be 64 over 4 factorial. 4 factorial is 24. So 64 over 24. Now I will cancel both the numbers by 8. So 8 8s are 64. 8 3s are 24. So I will be having 8 by 3. So our LHS and RHS both values are matching. That means x is equal to 10 is true and correct solution. I hope friends this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video, goodbye and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.